What's up, guys? It's your boy Joda, or should I say Kayena of the Casual Panic Guild on World of Warcraft. That's right, guys. We're talking about World of Warcraft today, and I am super excited because we're talking about the new expansion, Shadowlands. This video is kind of going to be a couple of different things. just want to talk about my experiences, but also just some of the new things just to give people kind of an idea of what's going on uh, with the new expansion to see if you're interested in doing it. Starting off with the new Covenant system, you can choose between four different, I guess you could call them houses, almost like Harry Potter. Uh, I chose Revendreth, which is these vampire looking people you're probably seeing on my screen right now. Depending on which Covenant you pick, you get different abilities for your class and also for that Covenant. So the Revendreth ones are based around like shadowy kind of vampire theme sort of things, as well as the armor sets you can get from them too. Next, I wanted to show you guys the new soul binding system. So this is like a new kind of tech tree you can do where you have a choice between three different champions in your covenant. And there's a bunch of different abilities you can get for each one of your specs that go down this tree. They have like potency, finesse, and endurance. Uh, and then as well as each of those soul binds has a has special abilities on that tree you can do. Now, some of them are better for damage. Some of them are better for tanking. Uh, so I went for straight damage because that's, that's what I'm all about. Another familiar thing for people who have played World of Warcraft before is the command table where you can get these little champions, almost like chess pieces, I guess now, where you send them on adventures and you can get different items like money, uh, cosmetic pieces, mounts, anima, which is a new currency in the game. Uh, so, you know, you'll see here in a second that you take these champions and you put them on the board and then they have different abilities. Um, depending on where you place them, they'll do damage to certain enemies. And there's some strategies that you can kind of implement there. I haven't figured them out yet, but I'm sure that somebody way smarter than me has already figured it out. Next thing I wanted to talk about was the Renown system, which is levels that you can get for your Covenant, which is basically like your reputation with them. There's reputation as well as the Renown, but there's like Renown levels that you can only get a certain number per week. I think it's three right now. I might be wrong about that, but... Every week you can get three new levels, and as you level up, you can get different things like new uh, ch champions, new armor appearances, uh, the campaign quest, which is kind of the story of the game. Uh, and the good thing about it is that every week you can actually, if you miss a week of getting those levels, there's a catch-up mechanic where you get these emblems of renown for regular quests that you would be doing per day for your covenant. So it's a really good idea for people with less free time. Moving on to my favorite parts of the game is the dungeons and the raids. Now, I've been running dungeons on this character since I hit 60 last week, and I've gotten some pretty decent gear, uh, you know, on Mythics. I've gotten some, some nice stuff, but this week I had a lot of bad luck, except for this, which I got, which I sold for a lot of money, and it made me very happy. I actually got, like, two more of those after that and got a whole bunch of money. You'll see people right now congratulating me because we got rich, y'all. We the new Jeff Bezos. But in all seriousness... World of Warcraft, I mean, it's more of the same, you know? It's what we know and love. It's killing mobs, it's killing the Alliance or the Horde if you play for the wrong faction. And it's just a whole lot of fun, you know? You can play on your other characters. Um, it's a lot easier to level up your alts now. So once you get that first character to level 60, hop on a new one, and your leveling experience is different than the first time because you don't have to go through the whole story again. You can basically just do quests and dungeons and level up pretty quickly, actually. I think... A friend of mine has gotten his characters. He has like four level 60s already. He's a maniac. And, you know, time will tell. You know, there's next week the Mythic Plus dungeons are coming out, which are basically the same dungeons we've been doing, but they're timed. And they might have some extra things they call affixes in there, which are basically some more challenges that they throw at you to make them a little bit more difficult. As well as the raid coming out on normal mode. I don't believe Heroic is coming out uh, at the same time, but I might be wrong about that as well. Uh, which is, you know, that's up to, you know, 10 to 30 people, I think it is, can go in. And that's that's kind of the, the storyline of the of the game happens through the raids. So I'm really excited to get in there and see what happens and experience that story with, with my friends. And that kind of leaves me off on, you know, the question I always ask at the end of these videos. What do you guys think? Have you been playing World of Warcraft? Have you been thinking about it? You know, I think if people who haven't played the game before got into it now, I think it's m a little bit less intimidating because there's only 60 levels instead of 120 uh, and the new player experience they definitely tried their best to make it a little bit easier for people who don't know what they're doing they're not going to be super overwhelmed with all the buttons and questing and you know story and all that crap so uh yeah let, let me know guys down in the comments below what do you guys think of this new expansion if you're trying to get in to play the game 
you know, send us a message. We're on the uh, Cadgar server on Horde. So if you ever want to play with us, give us a shout out and I'd be happy to invite you guys to the guild. Uh, we have a casual panic guild on there right now. So yeah, be great to see you guys out there. So stay happy and I will see you guys in the next video.